All right, it is November 6th. Um, this is our daily stand-up. Um, we'll start off with Chris Vare. Yeah, so, <clears throat> excuse me. I spent today um, coding up the API endpoints for Ken to use with the precise stuff. Um, it is my goal that before um, I finish working today that they, they are um, in test so that we can we can call them. Um, there may not be any um, any data there until I'm able to run a quick script to get some of the precise data populated in test, but um, but they will be available to call. So okay, sounds good. What are you doing this weekend? Um, packing <laughs> and flying. <laughs> I'm I'm going out to visit my cousin Josh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. We're all cousins. Which which raises a good question. Are we, are we gonna have some sort of recorded version of this while we're out there? Or are we just gonna uh this is while we together? Uh, that's a good discussion to have, I think. I think there'll be sessions yeah. where we, we record them for sure. Um I think it'll be difficult to record, you know, everything and probably not that useful. But um yeah, I don't I don't see that it will it'll be a total interruption for a couple of weeks. Um, all right, Ken, how about you? How are things going? Good. So uh, I got that wiki page up, which describes how to bring up the Kivi image and overlay the stuff to get it working with our hardware. Um, and that was pretty much it. I had to go take my test today and all that, probably like everybody else did. And uh, that's it. And I'm not going to probably be able to get to anything tonight or tomorrow because uh, I'm a little preoccupied. So that's that. <laughs> You're muted. You're muted. Yes, I am muted. No, wait, no, I'm not. Um, that process works. You've tested it. Has anyone else been able to verify that it works for them? Not yet. I'm not far yet. Um, if I have time to tonight, I will try to do it. If not, I'll do it um, in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so say we all. All right. Uh, Gez, did you get your device yet? I did. Uh, they lost it for a little while, but um, they found it again. So, uh, and I think I owe some beers because I think they actually managed to get the package here in the time that they said, which is just absurd. Uh -oh. um, yeah, it's weird. Anyway, uh, other than dealing with them, um, I got a PR for the for the micro skills um, Jenkins improvements up uh, and I uh, realized that we were doing the same thing with um, with the micro flogs, um, like writing them to the same, to a common location. So um, so also changed that. Um, and uh, just I've done the same thing for micro core, but I haven't put the PR up yet. So I'll, I'll do that as well. Um, uh, I've got a few PRs up in the QT in the Microsoft devices recipe build thing repo. Um, one to preload precise onto the device, and one to add um, add a, a Microsoft RC um, to add the Microsoft helper commands to to the path. Um, I thought that I'd uh, done the Microsoft core um, repackage thing no trouble but then I, I just realized that the the recipe wasn't um respecting my hacked host file so um it turns out that it was just the old <laughs> the old one working as expected so um uh i've also been trying out some other um so there's sort of two avenues i think one is that we can repackage uh, core and and put that in a location for it to grab and then my other thought is to to update it on the fly within the recipe itself so kind of been going down both of those um, paths um, but I wouldn't I haven't I haven't done one end to end 100% working yet so 
I'm not going to call that done right now. But yeah, I think that's me. Okay. Um. All right. So I imagine we'll continue working on that uh, as a priority item going into next week. Yeah. I should have one before you all land in um, wherever you are, Hawaii. Right. Okay, great. Uh, Derek. Hey, everyone. Uh, yeah, so been just getting prints done and parts packed and actually made a, a significant revision to a couple of parts. So I'm on to version five. Um, the top part that holds the, um, the SJ201 itself uh, made a, quite a few changes to, there were two screws I really just didn't like how difficult they were to access. So I've made those easier and um, the body itself. And I uh, got on the phone real quick with Kevin and uh, we kind of decided that the SJ202 jumper board was not going to be removable um, uh, through the, the, the access panel that gives you access to all the other USB and Ethernet ports, partly because it gets so high up uh, to, the, to the planar level of the board that it's like cutting into the integrity of the corner of the plastic. And, um, Partly also just because, well, you shouldn't really need to remove that, right? That's not really, I mean, you can, you can disassemble the whole thing, but, um, you know, we're using screws for everything, but it's not something on a day-to-day -day basis you need to get to, so. Um, yeah, I made those changes and the rest of the parts are compatible with the version five, so that's good, uh, but we might have a few parts that won't, won't be able to be used for this version, which, yeah, is is what it is. Um, but yeah, keeping the printers going until I leave. So get as much parts done as possible. Awesome, sounds good. Um, do we have a plan for the uh, phase inversion problem on the uh, speakers? Are we just gonna hand modify a bunch of those um, JST connectors? Uh, yeah, well, I, I've got parts to make a little adapter, like a little short, like one inch, um that has a it basically just does the twist for us that way we don't have to have a separate audio chamber that's all glued up and wired up um that will only work with this current version oh right because you and glue then, the actual uh driver elements to the enclosure uh well the, the drivers themselves no but then we seal everything up and then we seal the wires going through i mean so you can get it apart but you know it's a pain so I'm going to make these little adapter cables that, um, you know, just for All this right. version. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, any other outstanding questions? Um, oh, I guess I haven't given give an update for myself. Uh, I have been uh, not terribly productive on this stuff today. I've been handling a bunch of other priorities. Uh, got my test. So, um, oh, uh, this is not necessarily development related, but um, well, I'll handle that after the call then. Let's see. Um, yeah, I'm just getting my software stuff in order so I can bring it with me, laptop and all that. So um, any, any issues that people need to have discussions about at this point? Ken's talking, but I can't hear him. Have we stopped recording? Not yet. We should probably stop recording. <laughs> <laughs> no, no other, no other issues that we want to talk about development-wise. No. All right, cool. Well, that's it for today, and we will. Uh, I'll see everybody else in Hawaii.